Hey everybody, welcome back to Peppers for Christ. I got a snack review today. Fire fries, Slim Jim. Not a crazy review, but I haven't um, been doing a whole lot of videos lately. I get really busy before the holidays, and um, I don't think as many people are watching YouTube uh, before Christmas. Spending family time and everything, right? Hope you guys had a great Christmas and a happy new year to come. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Holidays are rough for a lot of people. So, anyways, enough of that. I was going to show you guys. It says no meat, just fries. So, um, I think these are vegetarian friendly if people are vegetarian. It does say it contains milk, so it's not vegan. But anyways, regardless, I just seen it and I was like, Buffalo Style Fury. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think these were gifted to me by my brother. So, before the holidays, I got a, a lot of stuff from uh, people over the last couple months. So, all right. It says Buffalo Style Fury. Let's see here. Kanaga Foods. Ingredients. Potato snack, which is, uh, what is it? Potatoes, potatoes, potato starch. Um bunch of ingredients I don't want to try to pronounce cayenne pepper that's where the heat comes from so I'm not expecting this to be too hot because we all know cayenne is not a super hot pepper oh it says rip here put the dotted line I'm gonna sit there and make it harder on myself it smells good I don't know, does it look like it looks like in the picture? It's kind of thin. For some reason, I was expecting it to be a little thicker. Maybe because of the picture. These are better than I thought. I was expecting. I was expecting fries that tasted like Slim Jims. They don't. These taste. These taste like French fries. They're really crunchy though. These taste like French fries uh, with buffalo seasoning. They, they they taste exactly what it says. If you've ever had those uh, those uh, potato strings or those potato straws that are in the can of the fried potatoes, that's exactly what they taste like. Mm. Oh, those are good. Gosh, it's so hard to get away from the crunchy snacks. Especially around the holidays. I got no excuse right now. I got to lose about 40 pounds. I'm starting to chunk out from um, all these holiday cakes and cookies and pies and danishes and, and then I try to get it out of the house and then everybody brings it back into the house anyways those are good got the buttery potatoey flavor um, you got that signature buttery um, cayenne flavor that you get from the, the buffalo sauce um, anybody that's made buffalo sauce homemade it's just a cayenne pepper sauce and um, you melt a little butter and you mix a little cayenne pepper sauce or whatever kind of hot sauce you want you can make a nuclear hot buffalo sauce most people don't those are good honestly i would take those and i would dunk them in hot sauce that's what i would do i like hot sauce on my hot sauce that's just me um everybody has their own heat level and um and some people don't like any heat so you know what it's all good i eat sweet peppers too don't be hating all right, guys, that's my review for today. You see cars rolling back through here. I'm up here at Walmart right now, so I'm so busy. I just got to do reviews when I get a chance to. But I want to keep you guys, have a little bit of content rolling here. Hopefully, I'll have some good. We got some really cool stuff coming up here soon that I'm going to review that I got for Christmas. But I wanted to rock out some of this older stuff that I had first. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If there's something you want to see, please as I always say, go find me on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter. I know a lot of people don't use Twitter. Um, yeah, find me. Please follow me. Uh, 
send me a message. I'd like to, I'd like to uh, connect with y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Kiki, and this is Peppers for Christ. God bless.